Hello entrepreneurs, welcome to episode number 107 of Entrepreneur Fundamentals. My name is Robert Pitto. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the overwhelming amount of paperwork and regulations that the government puts in front of you to hinder your success or to stop you from starting opening your own business. Well, there's a lot that's said about that and it's it's pretty much hyped up. It's like the IRS. People are afraid of the IRS. People are afraid of doing their own taxes because they've been told that it's something that is overwhelming and it's something that you can't understand and it's so much bigger than you. Well, government regulations and government paperwork, there's no getting around it. You're gonna have to do it. It's one of the big evils of, uh, of running your own business. We all have to put up with whatever the government throws across our path. And one of the biggest roadblocks for new businesses that people think about is the, the amount of government paperwork and red tape to start a business. But I'm here to tell you that it's not all that bad. Like doing your own taxes or like anything else connected with your business, you can figure it out and the government will throw things at you. You just got to suck it up and say, okay, I'm going to fill out these papers. Why am I making this video? Because I got this in the mail the other day from the County of San Diego. Now I've been in business for 18 years. Half that time I've been in San Diego County and never before have I gotten this business property statement from the San Diego County Assessor slash Recorder slash Clerk. What they want to know is what equipment I have here in my business. And as most of you know, I import arts and crafts mostly from Latin America, other items to handcrafts, candy, whatever I can from countries south of the border. And I've been doing this for a long time and I've never gotten this before from the government first time so I get this I say what the heck is this and it's four pages long the instructions add another six pages to this this mailing that I got what do I do with this well I'm not a machine shop I'm not um, a mechanic or something like that that has all of this equipment what the heck equipment could I possibly have this is just a warehouse and an office I have shelves and shelves of sculptures and baskets and religious statues and whatever, you know, tons of inventory and a computer and a printer, the microwave in the break room. What am I supposed to write down and for what? What's the purpose of this? It's just government paperwork and that's it. And it's no big deal. It's a little pain in the neck it's going to take me maybe about 20 minutes or half an hour to do but I put it on my task list for the day and just get it done send it in and keep the Empire off my back that's what I call the government the Empire because they do have ultimate power over you ultimately and just do what they say and get on with your day and don't fear the paperwork it's going to come at you and the regulations are there they exist and so what deal with it and move on and don't let stuff like this or things you've heard from other people about so many regulations that are going to hinder new businesses don't let that stop you from starting or expanding your business do it and deal with the paperwork later that's all I have to say on this. Thank you once again for watching and remember to always work hard and may all of your entrepreneurial dreams come true.